there, Patrick here, KK4, JIK. Walking into a uh, super secret gold mining location in uh, Cherokee County. Just thought uh, some of you may enjoy uh, seeing what's kind of close around the house. A little bit of gold panning here. There's the creek I'll eventually get into way down there. Or a lake. <laughs> This is a uh, public land. It's super accessible, uh, but can't have everyone showing up. <laughs> With all the rains we had last week, this creek was really up. Oh, it looks like it's come back down, so I will assist us in getting across without getting wet. I've got my water boots on, but it's 39 degrees outside. So, this little crossing here, this came down a couple of years ago, and while it makes kind of a nice bridge, the margin of error is slim. Uh, straight up the hill is one of the six historic gold mines that is in this location, uh, or in this area, be a two or three square mile. We're dead center of the gold belt here in Cherokee County. Uh, there's a few old collapsed shafts. You can, there's lots and lots of earthworkings up there. Uh, and a lot of it flowed right down into this creek. It's a heck of a placer, and they're still getting gold out of it. Uh, if my battery lasts, we'll do a little tour of uh, some of the gold mine rooms. I'll cut this off for now while I get to the place. Howdy, Patrick, KK4JIK, back with you here uh, at the panning spot. Uh, normally, this would all be part of a backed up lake to, it usually covers up that waterfall. Um, but the management of this lake drains it during the winter to allow for the spring runoff to fill it back up. And uh, so we're left with this, which is normally underwater. All the gold mining operation is up on that ridge up there. Um, this little area out here, you can see the beach kind of jutting out, is one of our little swimming holes. And for the longest time, we called that beach Quartz Corner. And then we got interested in the history of the area up here and uh, found out that like, oh wow, there's gold mining up here and so on and so forth. So started exploring and this is one of our favorite little spots to come. And now it's just a few miles from the house. So I'll get to pan in here and We've had a lot of rain recently, so it's kind of washed out the side of the creek over there where no one has really worked. You're not supposed to dig into the side of the creek, but looks like the recent flood did a good job doing that for me on natural. So I'll, uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's some uh, kind of clay slate bedrock in there. And uh, I've worked along in here. There's some big gold in here and a little bit in that where that little pocket lets out. So we'll get a couple of pans going and see what happens. All right, so I hope the camera's aimed properly. <laughs> work this little area behind this bedrocky stuff here that may have washed out with the recent kind of floods we had. So I guess I'll start getting at some gravel. I think it's too bad for me. Uh. 
I'll take my gloves off for a second and film a little bit of this. This is called classifying. You get all the big chunky rocks out. And wash all the little bits down. Even the dirt around here is heavily mineralized. You see a lot of sparkly stuff in there. It's usually mica. In fact, where my house is, I'm just outside of the gold belt and I'm in the little mica belt. There's mica mines in the woods behind my house. There's some right there. See a little sparkle. Oh, it's gold. No, it's not. It's mica. All right, this is gonna be long and tedious, so we'll come back after uh, the next step. Okay, well, we've got uh, a little bit of stuff classified down. There's a little bit more left in there, but I didn't want to put too much in the first pan. We'll go find a spot to pan and do a little bit of that. I think this was a former sitting in pan and rock mine. Need to relocate some rocks for the feet, or I can turn them upstream. You worm, back in the creek worm. So, like you, I've probably been watching other people pan on YouTube, and it appears I've been doing it too slowly. But I, su I suppose you check it like heck and wash a whole lot of stuff out. The gold we have in Georgia is pretty fine. So I imagine ah, giving it a little more time is good. So this is going to get a little tedious, so I'm going to cut this off and come back to it a little later. Okay, well, all I'm finding down here is teeny tiny little flecks. I've got, let's see, the concentrates of what I've uh, done so far in there. You won't be able to see anything, but there's three... Well, two tiny specks and one, hey, okay. So I dug one more where that one came from and one tiny speck. So I'm gonna try to go by, up by in front of the waterfall. And maybe I'll be the first person that gets there after the floods. And maybe we'll find some gold. So that's gonna be, uh, at least this is really easy to go, I'll carry. That's gonna be up here. I think I got everything. Ah. There she is. Uh, took a one pan full during the flood uh, right up here above the waterfall and I got a few flakes out. So maybe now that I can dig a little deeper, it'll be a little better. Let's see, I have to set up a whole new operation up here, but it's all right. Usually the lake comes up to right here, and most of this is usually underwater at full pool. But again, they've got it drained to allow for the spring floods. So we'll take a little bit out here and uh, see what we get. Back in a minute.
And sometimes you find some interesting minerals or gemstones in the classify pan, but not today, or not this time. No. Too bad I don't have a rock tumbler. I think I'm gonna get one and then I'll post some videos about doing that. Oop, there's a piece of mica shale stuff that I think probably has gold in it. All right. Well, let's pan this out and see what we get. Okay, I have 8% battery left, so I better make this quick. Uh, I found a good spot. It's where I was originally digging, I think, the first day I came out. So I've determined that that's the best spot in the middle of the creek on some clay, hard, fake bedrock. Anyway, that is about 15 minutes and one bucket clean up. I think I've got a decent picker. Let's see. It's hard to see. I'm almost out of battery, but I'll uh, make sure and wait until tomorrow until uh, I do the cleanup on this stuff so you can see how much we got. Uh, back to pan some more. All right, 7% left here. I'll show you where I'm going. Right in, of course you can't see because of the reflection. Oh well, uh, there's some hard clay fake bedrock stuff here, so I'm taking advantage of anything that the recent high water would have washed down or churned up from upstream and is catching right here in this low spot right before that. So this is usually under about six feet of water, taking advantage of the icy cold January day out here. All right, well, maybe I have enough battery for one or two more shots. This is the second to last, what's going to be panned today. Not looking so bad. I think I found a good spot. This is right there. I wonder if that's going to focus. I'm not sure. That looks out of focus. That looks kind of in. Pretty neat. <laughs> I hope you've uh, enjoyed today's panning expedition out here at the secret place near my house. <laughs> Little lake. For those of you in the area, you probably uh, can figure out where this is. And here's the creek. And that's that. All right. May be able to get one more shot before the end of the day. Uh, Probably just going to pick it up tomorrow, uh, going through kind of concentrates that we got from today. All done for the day. Bye, Creek. Walking out of here. Let's see if I can get it. Me going over the creek. Okay, well, here we are. It's Sunday afternoon. We were panning yesterday. Um, filling up a little water bucket to uh, pan out the concentrates uh, from yesterday. And remember, we got some pretty good gold. So this ought to be a good one. And oh look, it's the stepdaughter. <laughs> and oh boy, I bet the grand girls just showed up. All right, here's the concentrate bucket, or <laughs> little thing. And that's probably enough water. I'll get set up and be right back. Okay, Let's see if we can get the 
concentrates out into this pan and I got a another pan in the water with a rock hole head down <laughs> so in case any gold comes out when I'm panning this it should catch it there See gold. I love gold. Let's turn this on mist. See gold in that. I got a little bit stuck on the lid. Got it? Yeah. All right. Set this thing right side up to dry out for next time. And let's see if there's enough water in here to do this. There might not be. It looks like there is. automated way of doing this. I'm sure they make one, but I don't have it. Straight up magnet wasn't the best idea. Having to 
gonna show this off of here. It is not easy. I like having to pick it off. Now let's see what it looks like. Gold, it's minuscule. Left in there. Neat. Alright. Okay, well, I went through most of the tedious part of <laughs> uh, painting that down as I could. This is not focused very well up close. It seems that yesterday when I zoomed in, and even though it got blurry, of course there's my shadow in the way. That might be a little better. That's from a day of panning in Georgia. Any of you are out west, you're laughing at us, but hey, for us, that's not a bad day with a pan and a shovel. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. More uh, interesting adventure videos surely to come. Thanks again.